the ones who are who are who, who attended, they, are, they already got the credits because I was looking into the details of the exam. Uh, it's not details of the exam. I was going through the problems only. Uh, so going back, wh wh where should I go now? The event, events, events. Uh, going to 11, if, what is, was it 11 or 12? I think it was 12. Okay, the event is, the, is this one here. That's the event tree. And that is a very similar example. That's the, this is the one here from what we have taken. It's more beautiful than, than that one there. And this is what we have here from the events. Okay, this is what we have from the events. And what we are going to give you. So initiating event. So we are going to tell you, well, uh, initiating event of losing a cooling water is once per year. So you already know that it is once per year. OK, in this case, I will not say once per year, per year. I'm going to say two occurrences per year. Now, so it's given in the exam that it is the, 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 the initiating event. And I'm going to mention that, that the initiating event of losing cooling water to cool up the system is two times per year. So now we know that it is two times per year. So that's the first thing. And then I'm going to give you this this event here. OK, I'm going to give you this event tree. That means you will not draw this event tree. You will have the event tree given to you. And then I'm going to give you a table telling you that um, uh, that this is the initiating event. And then we are going to have uh, we are going to we already have a high temperature alarm and uh, we have an operator uh, noticing the high temperature and we have the operator restarts cooling uh, so i'm going to tell you the uh, the de the details uh, uh, but i'm not going to put you put the numbers for you you are going to get these numbers from the table the table will be given to you so you know those numbers here that means what is the failure i'm going to give you a table like that, and it, this table tells you that a high temperature alarm, uh, 0 0.01 failures per demand, okay? And operator noticing high temperature is 0.25. Operator restarts cooling is 0.28. Operator shuts down reactor is 0.1. OK, so so here what I'm trying to say, I'm I'm giving you some information here. I'm giving you some information. Uh, OK. I'm giving you some information here at the top. However, these numbers here are not going to be there. They're going to be given in a separate table. You need to know how to add things. Now, two times per year. Now, if the initiating event is two times per year, now, uh, if you multiply 2, multiply by 0 0.01, which means what? It's it's a fail. I'm, I'm giving you 0 0.01 fail. That means if 2 times 0 0.01, in this case it was 1. The, the previous example was 1 occurrence per year. It was 1 multiplied by 0 0.01. The answer was 0 0.01. So there is a 0 0.01 possibility of failure. And of course, 1 minus 0 0.01, 0 0.99, which is the continuous operation. Everything is fine. In this case, if I have 2 into 0 0.01, this will be 0 0.02. And this will be 1 minus 0 0.02, it will be 0 0.98. <clears throat> and then you, you take that, what is the possibility that operator will notice that there is a high temperature looking at this temperature? alert 0.25 so there's a possibility of the operator noticing the high temperature 25 percent 0.25 so multiply 0 0.9 0 0.25 into 0.98 and if you multiply 0.98 the answer the, these answers are for 0.99 okay so i'm just giving you something else for for you so 0.99 into 0.25 uh, sorry 0.98 into 0.25 it will be 0.245, okay? 
Now, this is operator noticing. Uh, this is the failure, OK? 0.25, this is the failure that the operator will not notice. However, the, 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 the possibility that he will notice is 1 minus 0.245, which is 0.755. OK, so in this case, this is continuous operation. That means everything is fine. So there's a 75% possibility that the operation will go smooth. Now, if the operator does not notice the high temperature, this is the possibility 24.5%. There is something else also, another safety precaution, which is operator restarts cooling. Now, what is the operator? The operator will start cooling if if it fails. If he, the, the, he did not notice the high temperature. Well, 0.25 percent. You will multiply it by 0.245. You will get an answer again here, and and you'll get another answer here. Uh, and then uh, you multiply it by 0.1, and you, you will get also the, the 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 final answer. Let me see here what 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 was missing here. 0.2475. 0.2475 times 0.25. Um, uh, uh, this one is a little tricky because this one is not multiplied by 0.25. This one is multiplied by 0.1. Because after the operator notices high temperature, he, if he did not notice the high temperature, he will not cool. He will not cool. He will directly go and shut down uh, the reactor. Uh, because if he did not notice it, notice it خلاص, he did not notice it. Notice it. Uh, so you're going to multiply this by 0.1, and this is the reason. And and here it is not 1 minus, it's 0.2475. To, uh, again, 0.2475 is the total of 0.227 plus 0.02475. So it's the total. These two numbers, 0.75 and, and this, are the total of this. Uh, because I subtracted this one minus, uh, that was a mistake. I shouldn't say one minus 0.245. I should say 0.98 minus 0.245, and I find the value here, uh, which should be 0.735. Uh, this is just a correction so that I don't confuse you. Okay, now that's more beautiful. Uh, so, so what I'm trying to say, you're going to get the, the 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 probability of a continuous operation and the probabilities of 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 things will shut down of course and you get the probability of things getting run away now looking at how many times things will get out of your hand is 0 0.2 0 0.02475 per year this is the this is the 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 the, the, the number of possibilities which means if you're going to calculate the reliability of this you're going to calculate the reliability of that. Two, four, seven, five, which is exponential of uh, exponential minus point zero two four seven five. The answer will be point nine seven five five. Let me say point nine eight. So there is you have a high reliability. Uh, which means if you want to calculate the probability, it makes you better. One minus point nine eight is equal to point zero two. We have 2% possibility, only 2% possibility that things will get run away, that the, 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 the cooling will just go high and the temperature will, the cooling, there's a problem with the cooling, and because of that, the temperature started going high and things are running away. What's the probability of that? It's just 2%. Okay, so, so you can see how you can calculate the probabilities and reliabilities and so on. And here is the, this is the mu. Two times per year is the mu, and we are calculating the mu's here. And at the end, you get the mu, and from the mu, you can get the reliability and probability. These are the examples. Uh, I think so. We did a good job here today. I already passed my limit, uh, and that is my last lecture today. And I tried to explain what you need as much as possible. Uh, all the best for those who attended. Yeah, thank you very much. And uh, and I hope that you gained from what you have learned. If you 